Hi, I'm Lauren Bregetzer, the audio professor. I'm going to show you how to create generative music at Ableton Live. In this first video, I'm going to show you how to create random melodies from just a chromatic scale, and it'll sound something along the lines of this. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is just uh, grab a an instrument. I'm just gonna grab this piano so I can hear what I'm doing. Now I'm gonna create just a bunch of MIDI clips with one note on them. So I'm just gonna double click in this clip and I'm just gonna, well, let's start with the key of E. Now you could do this chromatically. You could do this in any, any specific key you want. Um, so say I wanna just do it in the key of E uh, minor. I can click on this scale button here on this clip and set it to E minor. And I'm gonna click this scale, which folds it to the scale. So everything I do here is going to be in the key of E minor. So here we have a total of seven notes. So I'm just gonna take one note, I hit the B key to toggle on my pencil, and then toggle it off and just make it a one bar note there. So I'm gonna make six more copies of this. So what I'm gonna do is in the same piano track, I'm just gonna one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven. And the next thing I do is I'm actually going to make them all uh, different colors. So it's sort of easier to differentiate what's going on. All right, there we go. So this first note is an E, and then I'm gonna click on this one as an E. Let me just select it, hit the up arrow key, put it on. I'm gonna, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll put it on the uh, F sharp. This next one, we'll put it on the uh, G, up arrow twice, up arrow three times, on the A, put this one on the B, put this one on the C, this one on the D. And that should take it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I made it one too many. Get rid of this last one. All right. So next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn on the follow actions on these. So if I click on one, you'll hear just that note. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to stop these clips. Is I'm going to select them all, click on the top one, shift click on the bottom one. And in this detail view, I'm going to expand that to be able to switch onto my follow actions. So on my follow actions, I'm just going to say um, every quarter note uh, hit a random note. So I'm going to turn off this linked button and I'm going to set this down to one quarter note. And then the action I'm going to choose is other. So what this means is that when this is launched, Every quarter note is going to play another, any other random note. So not the same one, but any other one. So it'll sound something like this. All right. So that's a good start here. So the next thing that I want to do is sort of randomize uh, the velocity. So I'm going to go to my MIDI effects here and I'm going to go to velocity and there's add some random, I can drop that on there. And what I'm gonna do is just um, listen to it for a second. So it's a little bit random, at least the, the velocity or loudness of that note. All right, next thing I'm going to do is add an arpeggiator. So um, let me go over here to uh, MIDI effects and up to arpeggiator. And I'm just going to grab just the default arpeggiator, drop that on there. So if it's set to eighth notes, 
I'm going to put the arpeggio here before the velocity. So. I'm going to change the gate so it's the full duration of the note. So what I do is have this rate change of the arpeggiator. And so to do that, I'm gonna go, go to the audio effects category. Under modulators, I'm gonna grab the LFO. So I'm gonna take this LFO, drop it down here after the piano. Now it's actually gonna be modulating this arpeggiator here. So I'm gonna just click on it. I'm gonna set it to uh, time. I'm gonna say maybe every half note change, I'm gonna switch it to random. And now I'm going to map it to this uh, rate. So now you can see this rate jumping around. Now let's hear how that sounds. So I don't want to do those super fast rates. So I'm going to bring the bottom percentage up. Now there's a visual glitch on this LFO that sometimes you don't see what's going on on the screen there. Um, let's see that brings it up. No. So if I bring the bottom percentage up, that means that it won't go to these bottom levels here. So the next thing I'm going to do is increase this. I'm going to um, increase the steps here. I'll change the style to random other. That sounds pretty great. So let's change this from a piano to something else. I'm going to send this to multiple instruments. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to just uh, um, mute this piano. I'm going to turn that off. I'm just going to add, take this MIDI track here, and I'm going to add, say, the, let's go to PAX. I'm going to use the string, uh, the string quartet here. So going here over here to the string quartet. This is new in Ableton Live 11. Let's go to instruments and let's go for uh, all in one, all playing at once, uh, short notes. Drag that on there. So what I want this MIDI track to do is I want this MIDI track to receive from this first track. And I'm gonna rename it, um, rename random melody. So over here in the MIDI from, I can select where the MIDI information is coming from. So I'm gonna set it to this random melody track that I just set up. And I'm gonna set the monitor to in. So now when this is playing, I'll be playing these string notes. It'll sound something like this. That sounds pretty good, but I'm gonna uh, go on this track. I'm gonna increase the, uh, Whoa. I'm going to put a compressor on there to make it louder. So I'm going to go to audio effects, dynamics, uh, compressor, just drop that on there. Set it to uh, bring the threshold down. So this is compressing a little bit. And then bring the volume up. I want to send that to the delay. So over here, this has that stock delay. I'm going to switch it to ping pong. And uh, let's just hear what happens when I turn that send up. And I set to quarter notes. If 
filter a little bit. So, and I'm going to add a reverb. I'm going to get rid of this reverb and I'm going to use the hybrid reverb here. Go to audio effects, reverb, turn the hybrid reverb, drag that on that track, uh, set the dry wet, wet percentage to 100. Um, dark hall is good. I might make it a little longer. And then for the convolution IR, I'm going to choose the hall. Just that default Berliner hall sounds pretty good. So now I got to turn up that reverb on there. Now, one thing I always do is if I have delay on that, I'm going to have reverb on the delay. So I'm going to right click on that send on the delay, switch enable send, and then turn that up. All right, that sounds good. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to double uh, duplicate this track. So I command D, duplicate it. And instead, I'm going to use the long sound. So I'm going to double this with the, with the long string quartet sound here. Here we go. So again, since I duplicated that, ran, that MIDI from Random Melody is still there. So let's hear it here. That sounds pretty good. Maybe I want to play with bringing that down an octave. So I'm going to go to MIDI effects uh, and just click on the pitch one and bring down, grab that minus 12. I want to drop that on that third track there. So it's down an octave. Nice. And I want to just maybe add a base to that. So I'm going to duplicate that one. Right click, duplicate. And now I'm just going to grab a base. I'm going to experiment with one thing uh, packs. Let's go to individual and. <laughs> Hear how that sounds. Let's bring that down one more octave here. So that sounds pretty great. Um, the last thing I'm going to show you is you can actually take that MIDI data and record it to a track. So if I just uh, I think hit Command Shift T, make a new MIDI track, and I'm going to set the MIDI input to be from that random melody track. If I put that track in record, you know it's going to give me a count off, and I can just launch that clip. Then, so if I click in here with this in record, and hit play. So if you create any gold, you can actually play it back from this MIDI clip. So I can always play back that MIDI clip and send it to these three tracks if I want. So that's creating a random melody. Uh, rather than chromatic, I used an E minor scale, but you can do a chromatic. I uh, use any mode that you want, um, any instrumentation you want, but let's just give you an idea of what you can do that actually sounds really cool in not a very long amount of time. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for my next video.